Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here and today I'm bringing you another episode of my baby boom beach account. As you can see the last time when you saw this uh, this account I was just started the upgrade of HQ9 of HQ9. As you can see HQ9 is done. I have an extra landing craft and I spent all day today um, upgrading this at least to level 6 so I can get 5 sukas in. Um, the goal for this video is I want to see if I can upgrade this sculpture to level 3. That way I can have 5 statues. Um, so I'm going to need 88,000 wood, 21,000 stone and 5,600 um, iron which is actually the hardest part to get because the bases that I'm getting at my level have very little iron. But it's Friday here in the Friday evening here in the East Coast of the United States. And but it's a Saturday morning in New Zealand, which means we have Dr. T Tropical Island and we're going to get enough. If we manage to beat the first few stages, we're going to be able to get enough to get that um, sculpture level three started. Um, and I spent also all day today upgrading my stone and my iron storage to, in order to get enough capacity to get that um, upgrade running. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. But before we do that, let me show you. Um, I max all my troops for HQ level for armory level five. So you can see everything is maxed out. So after I do the sculpture, my goal is to actually upgrade the armory to level five. And then after I get that done, then it's gonna be keep upgrading the landing crafts and all that other other all that other good stuff. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Let me pick up this. Well, we have 56 minutes, so yeah, we don't need to do it right now. So let's take a look at uh, Dr. T, stage one. So two flamethrowers, two flamethrowers, and a sniper tower. Guys, this is going to be pretty easy. Remember, Sukas outrange flamethrowers, so essentially one, two. Just destroy that sniper tower, GBE, land your Sukas. Remember to spread them out, because if you don't spread them out, they come in in a, in a little cluster, they are going to get burned out. And in reality, I think I have the GBE to maybe take this. Oh, yes, I do. So there we go. Sukas did not need to. Oh, no. Maybe I actually needed to, to take on it. How much health is the flamethrower had? In any case, just with Sukas, we managed to be defeat stage number one. And that's going to give us enough iron to get our upgrade running. But we still have, we're still going to be short in terms of, of wood. So we are going to have to take on stage number two. Let's see how short are we. So we have we have the stone, we have the iron, and we are just missing a few, just a few, eight thousand pieces of wood, uh, which is going to be awesome. Let's uh, let's figure something out. We have a hundred thousand capacity. Do we have a base that we can do a hundred eight thousand wood in a single match? No, that's not it. Because it would be a pity to waste all the resources that he's going to give us. Do we have more? Oh, we have another one here, guys. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. This is going to give us enough for that. So let's take on this base first. Now, as you can see, this sniper tower, that sniper tower, they don't have range. Not sniper tower, the mortars. They don't have range if we flank to this area right here. So what I'm going to do... Is destroy this mortar with GBE and then land my sukas here on the corner. Let's do one, let's do two. Oh, hopefully that sniper tower is not gonna have range. I did not. No, I don't think he's gonna have range. There we go. Sukas are out, or flamethrowers are out. Now we have an easy, easy takedown of the base if we go here on this corner. And this base should give us enough um, wood to start our upgrade running. Which means that then we once we start our upgrade, we're going to have close to zero um, resources. But then we're going to build them up once we defeat stage number two. Which I'm pretty sure we will be able to defeat. Very nice. So that's been two matches where we have only used Sukas to destroy... One intel, one red fragment. Awesome, awesome. We have enough, so we're going to start that upgrade. Remember, if you have a statue in your sculpture and you start an upgrade, the statues stay there. So it's like a storage that you have down there. 
Um, before we do that, you can see I have plenty of red charts uh, or fragments. I have plenty of purple, um, of purple fragments, which means I'm gonna once it's finished up, I'm gonna be able to get a nice, um, at least a nice uh, guardian going and not a i mean depending on what we get on dr t today we might get also a nice guardian of of, of purple so we'll see let's start that up right up as as predicted all our resources dumped to zero but that's okay because we are gonna make those back by taking stage number two of dr t let's take a look what do we have today for him all right so um so we have a mortar. My plan is to take this mortar with UBE because that's what can counter my troops. Now, if you if you watch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna land my troops here on this corner. Let them get that GBE. They're gonna start walking in this direction. I'm gonna give priority to the machine gun. So I'm gonna flare directly to the machine gun, shock it, and then take it out. So let's do it. As always, I, I should have landed my sukas first because they take the longest and but they are the ones that pack the punch. All right, so once the machine guns start firing, that's going to be my cue to chuck them. I'm going to chuck a second time. You know, that boom cannon is going to fire once every second. Oh, I didn't take this. Shoot. Well, oh, that, that was going to be a fail. Here we go, let's heal everybody up. And that's it, guys. We managed to defeat stage number two using our level five rifleman, level four Sukas. I want to say it's level four, four artillery, but we'll, we'll see. Ooh, we got an achievement done, guys. We managed to collect enough iron to get the, the, the first star achievement for that. Awesome sauce. So let's take a look at what we got. How many diamonds? Just 10. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Actually, I'm going to put this on this corner. That way it doesn't get in the middle. Um. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what were the levels of my troops. So level. Yeah. Level 5 riflemen. Level 5 heavies. Level 4 sukas. Uh, level, level 1 warriors is what I have right now. What else do we get? So what about this? So, so we got level five artillery and level two flare, uh, max level. So uh, level five med kit, and then the other thing that we get access right now is the mines. So level five mines. So everything is matched to the HQ level, which is really nice. Let's reload our troops. Let's uh, collect this loot here, and let's take a look at what stage number three is going to bring us. Hmm. This stage doesn't look that bad. It doesn't. It really doesn't look that bad, guys. I think we'll be able to beat this. So, how much is that? That's 5,600, right? 5,600? 5, no, 5,900. So, six artillery shots. Will we get enough energy to do five or six artillery shots to destroy that rocket launcher? Because um, otherwise, you're going to have to pass through. Um, how do you say it? We're going to have to pass through. But then this machine gun is going to be there. Wrecking us. Now, let's see. So how much I, how much GBE do we have? I know we have enough for four, for sure. Um, now, what happens if we, if we destroy the other two? So we have 26 GBE. Um, and what was what was the level I said? Level five. So we can do a maximum. So we can do a maximum of. Let's see if we do four. Can we do four? Um, can we do four? No, we cannot do four. Yeah, we are. yeah we can do four. We can do four. So we can do forty two thousand. So four thousand. 4,200, we can do 4,250, um, but then we're only going to be left with 2 GB. So let's take a look at that again. Hmm. 
All right, so here's a good thing. Here's a good thing about this. So right now, that rocket launcher does not have any range up till I can I can manage to destroy these things, right? Now, that's the blind spot for him. Um, and then I cannot take on that. I cannot take on that machine gun. So what I'm thinking, what, what I can do is land my rifleman and my sukas all here in the front. You know, they're going to... I'm going to lose a few of them right away. But if I can then, once I destroy these two things, I can then flare to the top, keeping shock that, you know, shocking that machine gun and shocking the rocket launcher and hopefully making it up there. I think I can, I can, I can actually finish stage three with the troops that I have. I really, I really think so. So let's, uh, let's see how much time left do I have on to load of my troops. So 14 seconds. We're gonna give it a go, guys. We're gonna give it a go. If we manage to to lose, then yeah, we lose. But before we do that, we actually have a hundred thousand credits. So we can open one of these clouds. Now we can get a resource base going. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be iron based on the you know the location. But we can bust a volcano. I think a volcano will be nice because then we can get you know those redstones coming in. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's do it. Ooh, yeah, baby. So that's three Volcano Islands right there that we're going to be able to take. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to take them before taking Dr. T. How about that? Let's do it. Let's take a look at this one. Double barrel number two. So two mortars, machine guns. If we flare on the top part. Oh, there's a mortar right here, too. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this. It's gonna be easy peasy. Let's destroy this guy. I'm not gonna waste. I'm not just gonna waste GBE flaring. I'm just gonna go straight for the gut. All right. Actually, check that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna flare to the right. I'm not gonna tango with those um machine guns. Okay, once I destroy these two, I should have enough for a shot, which I'm going to use to subdue these two things right here. Come on, guys. Okay, get that going. Let me shock that. Oh, guys, this is going to be unfortunate. I ran out of GBE, but we managed to destroy it. I, I miscalculated, and then that mortar, if, if I wouldn't have destroyed that quickly enough, that would have mean that that mortar would have fired a couple of times and probably hit my Zookas. However, I still ended up losing two Zookas. I don't know how that happened. Now, did we get did we get a redstone on that attack? Did we get? Did we get? No, we didn't. Stingy Islands. All right, so let's take a look at the other one that we wanted to do, which is this one right here. Oh my god, look at this. So many sniper towers. Alright, so if we destroy these two with GB and then shock this and destroy it, we can then park on the north side and you know be done with it. Really, really easily. One, two. There we go. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna drop and then drop my sucas right away on the second boat. They're not going to be ahead of line, so lost one rifleman. But that should be about it. But I should be able to shock again. Come on, guys. Destroy that thing. And flirt to the top. Yay, I saved that rifleman. And Dan goes down stitches. All right, so we are back up to 20,000 um, gold pieces. Let's take a look at this base too. Ooh. This case, uh, this case has pretty upgraded stuff. All 
can I take on this base? I think I could. I mean, um, he has two buildings touching this mortar. Um, he does have a flamethrower, though. And these mines are 64. So three of these mines will destroy my rifleman. So how would you approach this? Now, this sniper tower, this machine gun, and this sniper and this uh, other sniper tower is out of the game for, for the Sukas. If I engage this base, I'm pretty much going to lose most of my riflemen. However, if I... Let's see how we do this. If I were to destroy this sniper tower out, I would gain 9 GBE. So I would, I would, I would end at 11 once I destroy this one. And then that would mean that I could use one... One flare to flare to, to this corner in between these two guys, or maybe behind here, like somewhere in there, and then shock, shock, keep shocking these guys, right? Um, thing the thing is that once I my rifle and pass, this mortar is gonna fire, I'm probably gonna hit my sukas. Um, so maybe the best bet would be to actually destroy this one, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it for Doctor T. And if I, I mean, if I get destroyed, that will be it for the video. Um, oh, we have another NPC base here. Let's take on him. What is this? All right, so sniper towers and cannons. So it's a toss up. It's about the same in both in both ways. So let's go. Let's go to the left side. Destroy those. We land my sukas first. Let them walk a little bit closer and then flare them straight out. There we go, that should that should pretty much deal with all of them. Can actually keep that boom cannon or the cannon shocked if they do fire. So and I had GBE to actually destroy um, destroy a little bit faster the HQ. I just didn't do it. All right, so let's take a look at then stage. That that's it. That's it for the NPCs. We don't have anything else. Let's take a look if we can destroy this stage. It would be awesome if we can get stage three. All right, so let's review the plan. I'm gonna land my troops, destroy these three guys right here. Be careful with the machine gun and the mortar. Um, rocket launcher is not gonna fire until until you destroy this, and then some troops starts heading to here. But he should not have range until we manage to destroy every single troop here. So I'm gonna land all my troops right here in the front, destroy these two guys, flare them here to this corner, destroy this. Um, then flare them directly to the mortar, destroy it. Oh, this is going to be complicated guys, but I think I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's see. Let's see if we can, if we can make it happen. Are we completely loaded? Uh, no. All right. So let me pause this for a second and I'll be back in 50 seconds. All right, guys, we are loaded. Let's see if we can take that stage of Dr. T. I'm 60% confident that we're going to be able to get it. But uh, let's try this. Let's try this. Um, we're going to be, we're going to need a lot. We're going to, okay, let me check the, the blind spot of that thing. Jeez, this is going to be hard, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be hard. But let's try it. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, those machine guns are wrecking me. Come on, destroy that thing before it, get, it, it gets you. Okay, here we go. Let me heal my guys. I need them healed. Heal them, heal them. Rocket launcher is going to start firing. Oh my god, oh my god. We're going to have this. Shock him. Flare to the corner. Don't let that machine gun hit me. 
Yes! Come on, I need a heal. Oh, we're gonna lose, guys. No! I lost my Sukas. Ah. I I think the error, the mistake I made was to to just play with that um to play with the boom cannon and the and the sniper tower in the front. I should have not done that. I should have just landed them on the right and just keep going straight up. Even though if I ended up losing four or five, it would have been less than the amount I ended up losing by just trying to destroy it. Um, I am gonna try it one more time. I have, we have the gold. Let's reload. I'll be back in how much? I'll be back in 25 minutes, guys. And we're back. As you can see, I did not load in my rifleman. After after I started loading, I decided I'm gonna try something a little bit crazy. How about we try a warrior rush? Um, because you know, correct me if I'm wrong, if I land all my troops on this corner and then I flare I flare up to like in this region right here, um they're gonna run up. I'm I'm gonna lose one for sure. I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose a warrior for sure. But then I can get up here. I can shock the machine gun and shock the um shock the machine gun and shock the rocket launcher, right? But then I can go and oh let me see. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, I can I can I don't need to shock. I can just land my troops, flare here to the top. Destroy the rocket launcher, flare the sniper tower, and then flare them into this little corner. Um, the machine gun is gonna it's not gonna hit most of my guys. The, the the cannon is. However, he will not be able to hit the ones that are near the top. So I'm gonna run a gamble. I'm gonna say that that cannon is not gonna hit every single one of my troops, and I'm gonna be able to defeat the stage. I'm not sure, but we'll we, we will see. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully this will work. All right. Let's do it. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Let's do it. Now. I'm going to lose one. It's not a problem. May, I may lose two. Not a problem. Oh, no. I'm losing too many. Shock the machine gun. Come on. Forget about that stuff. Let's heal. Let's heal. Let's heal. Let's heal. We need to heal stuff. Let's heal. Let's go for this. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna flare it here to the top. Hopefully, some of them are gonna go here. Oh, this is this is gonna be terrible. Oh yes, <laughs> he's out of rage, guys. Stage three went down with the warrior rush. That's pretty crazy. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. So stage three went down with warriors. Level one warriors, guys. Doable, doable. With HQ level nine, level nine, level one warriors, and did I say 26 GB? That's what we have? Yeah, 26 GB. Down went Dr. T, stage three. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Last 10. 10 of how many? How many do we land it? Um, let's take a look at that. We landed 17 and we lost 10. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me reload. Let's see what stage 4 is. Oh, I'm stoked. Now on. Yeah, this one it's um If we had enough GBE to destroy this thing, yeah, we could have we we could you could do this one too, but I don't think we'll be able. I think stage three is going to be the limit of our of our current offensive capabilities. Because the thing is, I would have to shock here and shock this thing. Yeah, I'm, this is not going to be doable. It's just too too much stuff. I'm happy with stage three, guys. I'm happy with stage three. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, we have enough to bust some clouds. So I'm gonna go. Let me see. A hundred thousand. Do we get another thing here? Which one do we want to do, guys? South or north? 
What is your take? I'm going to go for the... Um, oh, this is hard. I'm going to go for the 100,000 credit one. Screw this. Let's go... Let's go for this one. Yeah. It's going to be ice bases, though. All right, guys. I'm going to call it... I'm going to call it quits right here. I hope you like the video. I hope you find it entertaining. I, I really like that last uh, takedown on Dr. T using the Warriors. Um, I had a gut feeling and it ended up working. So hopefully this this helps you and you know, you're able to take stage three if you're struggling with it um, the same way I did. In any case, um, solely checking out.